everyone, Irix Guy here. Just wanted to talk about uh, how to cruise cheap. Now, a cruise can be a very, 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 very expensive vacation. But if you know how to book it and you know how to uh, anticipate all of those hidden charges, it's quite easy to have a very nice and very affordable. One thing to take into consideration is that most cruise lines, most of them include the meals. So you'll definitely want to uh, take advantage of that. I recommend the sit down dinner every night should be included. Uh, you know, you've got buffet food all day, uh, food by the uh, pools, you know, grilled food like hot dogs and hamburgers and that kind of stuff. What you want to do with shore excursions, and this is this is a place where they'll where they'll often stiff you. Uh, but with shore excursions, you want to book those in advance, and you may or may not want to go through the cruise ship for that. Uh, the advantage to booking a shore excursion through the cruise line is that their timelines will be pretty tight, so you're not going to run the risk of uh, possibly getting involved with a third-party shore excursion where you miss the boat, because that could get really expensive. But if you go to like uh, TripAdvisor and similar sites, you can do searches. For example, when we were in Bermuda, uh, we did two shipwrecks. It was a really awesome, uh, really awesome experience. And I've got a separate video on my YouTube channel, the uh, Montana and the Constellation shipwreck video. If you want to check that out, uh, you'll see how awesome it was. Now that we booked through a third party, and it was bad. It was very inexpensive. And I did it based upon the reviews that I found on TripAdvisor. So check the destination out before you go. See what people feel is the best. And when do they when do they offer those? Can you book it in advance? Definitely you'd want to, if you're gonna book a short excursion through a third party, make sure it's gonna comfortably fit into that timetable because you don't want to miss the boat. Um, other than shore excursions, things that people might want to do is definitely whether you're a drinker or not, definitely take some Coke on there. Uh, most cruise lines will let you take in a 12-pack or so of Coke per person. That's going to save you a ton of money uh, because the alternative is to pay about 4 or $5 for a Coke <laughs> on the boat. So, I mean, it, you know, those add up. Even if you're a non-drinker, you can have a hefty bar tab uh, just from drinking Coke. Now, uh, the good thing is on most cruise ships, juice and all that's included they tend to alternate it throughout the day uh, so that's you know that's a free drink also water's included ice of course is included so if you bring your coke zone you know you're gonna you're gonna save you some money now bottled water the water out of the little fountains on the ships included but the bottled water is not other things that one might want to do uh, when preparing for a cruise we've already touched on the shore excursions you know, book those in advance bring your cocoa, medicine and suntan lotion. If you feel like you might get a headache, bring that headache medication. If you feel like uh, you know you might get sunburned, which you probably will because you're gonna be on a ship, uh, definitely bring suntan lotion because those are the things that cruise lines anticipate people forgetting. And as a result of that, they charge a hefty premium within the gift shops. So, you know, think of your day-to-day -day items. What, you know, what do you use? Batteries, your camera. Make sure you've got enough batteries for your camera. Memory cards. Do you have enough memory cards for your camera? Uh, keep in mind, once one fills up, and if you don't have your computer with you, you're going to have to uh, put in another memory card to keep making those vacation photos. That's another thing to be aware of. So all of your electronic devices, you know, make sure you've got, you know, ample amount of uh, power uh, charging cables. Uh, make sure you've got all that because you're going to have to keep those devices charged when you're when you're on the ship. Other things to think of, and, and usually what I recommend doing, and we've been on a, my wife and I have been on a few cruises, so we always plan out a few. Well, we book the cruise way in advance to save money, and then a few uh, a few weeks or so before the cruise, we start doing a, a an inventory of what we'll need, and then a week or so before the cruise we go ahead and start packing stuff and in that way there's less probability for getting stuff sure something's always forgotten but at least by doing that it's kind of fun because you're planning ahead and then also it lessens the probability for getting something um, okay so we've we've gone through all of that so you know plan ahead just map out your day-to-day -day needs everything you need off the ship because you're probably gonna need the same stuff on the ship 
with uh, food and stuff, if you're going to a place where you might, uh, well, more than likely you'll get out on the island or, or whatever the destination may be. Uh, Bermuda, for example, we were there for a few days, so we would eat uh, we would eat breakfast on the ship because it was free. But then we, you know, we took some money to eat around the island, eat all the local food and all that, because that's important to enjoy the place you're going to. But if you book all of this in advance, and you can book through the cruise line, there's uh, several uh, travel agencies online that may offer uh, special cruise deals, but typically if you book far enough in advance, you can get some really good prices. Uh, for example, the next cruise we're going on, we booked it about uh, 13 months out, <laughs> 13 months ahead of time. So we've got a really good deal there. You get better choice of uh, the room you want. Typically, we try to go towards midship and a higher level. So we like to be, uh, you know, close proximity to the atrium and on a higher level with a balcony. And then that way it's easy to get to and from everywhere. And also the, uh, uh, the noise, if, if you book in advance, not that we've ever been on a new, noisy cruise ship, but um, if you book in advance, you have a better choice of your rooms. So it's not just a money-saving thing, but it's, it's uh, just having, the, having everything exactly like you want it. If you are a drinker, what I highly recommend doing, and not every cruise line has this, but Carnival does, is the Boing Voyage. And I've got a separate video you can check out. It's called How to Drink Cheap on a Cruise Ship. And within that video, I go into great amount of detail about how, how we drank really inexpensively on the ship. But you can, basically what Boing Voyage is with Carnival, is that you call ahead. Now you can't do this once you're on the ship, but you need to call ahead before your vacation and reserve whatever liquor uh, that you and or your, your wife might want. And then that, that liquor will be waiting in your room when you get there. So you don't have to buy the mixed drinks on the ship. You've already prepaid for that bottle of liquor. And it's more expensive than most liquor stores, but still it's gonna save you a killing if, if you're a drinker. Uh, so definitely plan ahead with that. And other than that, just, uh, you know, don't don't wait until you get on the boat to book stuff because that's a problem that a lot of people uh, fall victim of because they're going to get you and then they're going to say, well, you know, if you're getting a short excursion, you ought to buy this wine package. Oh, and that brings up another point. Most cruise lines will let you bring a bottle of wine or champagne for person per person rather. So take advantage of that, have that with you, uh, save some money there. But some cruise lines offer a wine package. It's kind of expensive. But if you're going to drink wine with every meal, it'll probably save you some money. So that may be one thing that once you get on the ship, you do is the wine package. Now, I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, there's just so much stuff. And what I would encourage everybody to do, I, I thank you for watching this video. But if you have any specific questions, let me know. And I'll try to answer them here. And I may even post another video on it. So I uh, really appreciate the views. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and then also within this video's description I've got a link, uh, a playlist, a video playlist of multiple uh, cruise ship videos. So feel free to check them all out and again thanks for tuning in and have a good one and hey have fun on your cruise. Cruises are great.